Welcome Leos to your weekly love tarot reading. For those of you that are new to the channel, I'd like to welcome you guys. For those of you that are returning, I'd like to welcome you back. And of course, uh, thank you for all your continued support. So as always, the reading that I'm going to be doing here today, it is going to be a general tarot spread. And what this means is that it probably won't resonate with everyone who's watching. So in that case, please take what resonates and discard the rest. Or perhaps you would like a personal tarot spread. To do so, please feel free to in, um, inquire. I am going to list my email address for you all at the bottom of the video here. Uh, and along with all the different types of readings that I offer. And you'll find that a personal reading is going to resonate with you more closely. So the tarot reading that I'm doing here today is uh, intended for Leo Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising and of course for those of you that are cross-watching as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at uh, let's take a look at the energies and the messages that are coming through for you here Leo. Uh, these messages uh, will, uh, you know, are in relation to love, romance, infatuation. So for those of you that are single, coupled up or um, so as long as you have a romantic interest in mind when I do this reading here Leo, that should work. Okay. So, interesting. What do we have here? Okay, Leo, I feel like for a lot of you, there is someone here who's uh, someone here who I feel like someone's coming back. Okay, someone who came in very strong, very wild, um, you know, someone who came in, um, who come, who came in very strong, um, exciting, someone very hype spirited, and I feel like this person has left, right? This person has left, and I feel like they're now coming back in again, is what I'm seeing. So someone comes back, but it's not what you think, okay? Because I feel like this is someone who came in very quickly, um, and then I also feel like it's someone who faded out from your life very qu quickly. A possible ghost maybe someone who's ghosted you or someone who did not the slow fade who did like a it's not a gradual fade either so they either ghosted you or they just like completely faded out from your life kind of slowly but not not too slowly if you know what I mean okay so with the six of uh, the six of cups here, I I feel like this person is coming back here, Leo, because they've uh, been hit by a wave of nostalgia. Is what I'm seeing. Um, suddenly, this person um, will be thinking about you. I feel like this person is going to be thinking about you a lot here, in um, in the days to come here, or has been thinking about you a lot, and they've been drowning here um, in a wave of nostalgia, and then all of a sudden, it's very likely that you know you're going to hear from this. So hear from them so unexpected communication is coming in but you know what it's as i said it's not really what you think i feel like yeah you know this person is coming back but i don't feel like it's good news entirely because i feel like looking at the rest of your spread here i'm getting player alert written all over it i'm getting that this is someone who is um who i feel like they were pursuing you but i feel like this person here um likes the idea of a relationship or the idea of a connection the idea of uh, uh you know the idea of being in a connection rather than the actual reality of it so to them i feel like the pursuit here the chase the thrill of the hunt is something that is exciting it's something that seems as though it's a mission for this person and then once they conquer it you know once they catch up with the uh, chase here i feel like this person then um basically this person then moves on to the next best thing to the next um you know uh, once the excitement uh, dwindles out, they move on to um, their next adventure. I feel like the romance with this person here, Leo, you've had something going on with this person, but I feel like this is something that there was a lot of physical intimacy or there was um, a lot of attraction or a very strong sense of infatuation between the two of you. And I don't feel like it extended beyond that because I feel like this person, um, I don't feel like they were... They were after commitment, to be honest with you. They might have been dragging their feet with you. They might have been um, promising you empty promises, but never actually delivering on these promises. Um, or they themselves just never really took this connection seriously. They actually never saw long-term prospects for this connection, or they just never intended to, um, you know, enter a relationship. They wanted, they knew what they were after, and um, you know, they were willing to chase it. Okay, and once maybe you know they. Um, once they're caught up to the chase here, I feel like then this is where this person has, you know, um, 
disappeared, has gone, you know, has done the famous disappearing act on you, or perhaps, you know, um, for some of you, if you've made it clear that commitment is what you're after, and clearly it's not what they were after, and this is where, you know, it was their cue to disappear. So, I feel like this person is now coming back, um, well, because they've been thinking about you, and I feel like, you know, they've, they've, they have, they've been missing you. Um, for some of them, they get a sense of, um, it was a missed opportunity, so I feel like they may actually try and uh, reconnect with you and try and revisit this connection. Um, I don't know how you feel about this, Leo, because I feel like you aren't, I feel like you're a little standoffish here, or you will be a little bit standoffish here. With the six of um, pentacles in reverse like that, yeah, I feel like you were the one. But of course, the energies could be in reverse. So, you know, they can be interchangeable. So, Leo, really take it as it resonates or applies to you. But someone here in this connection um, really wanted to invest seriously in this connection. Okay. They wanted to um, put in the effort. They wanted to invest in the potential of this connection. Whilst the other person, um, you know, you guys weren't on the same uh, wavelength. This person wasn't taking the connection seriously. This person was. Um, you know, this this is someone who's wanted um, who wanted a friendship and who wanted commitment, who wanted um, a relationship, um, a union here. And this person, you know, was after physical intimacy, um, sexual attraction here, um, lust, infatuation. Okay, this was their energy. So see how you guys. You know, you weren't on the same emotional frequencies, so I don't think much has changed, to be honest with you. I feel like this person is coming back in. Yeah, they miss you, and yeah, they're still attracted to you. I don't feel like they're still ready for a relationship, though, is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing that this person has a very flighty energy to them, and I feel like, you know, a relationship or a commitment isn't what they're after. Instead, I feel like they're reaching out to you. Yeah, as we discussed, you know, they've been um, hit by a wave of nostalgia, and they're missing you. Um, you might have had a birthday recently here, Leo. Um, it might have popped up on their Facebook feed, or um, someone here might have mentioned your name, or they might have been... Um, rereading some of the text messages or um, looking back on some of the photos so you know um nostalgia okay is one of the reasons why they reach out um maybe they feel like you know it's a mission that wasn't um successfully accomplished so they're back for round two here for some of them i feel like honestly it's because they're bored simply and bluntly put it's because they're bored and reaching out to you is serving them is serving as a distraction from everything else that's going on in their life which to be honest with you i don't know that there is much i feel like they're like a fickle type of energy and um yeah i just feel like they're reaching out to you because it's convenient for them or because this person is feeling a little bit bored and you know um here they are yeah, I feel like it was one-sided. I feel like the energies here, you guys weren't in um, vibrating to the same emotional frequencies. And I feel like you guys were a little out of tune with each other. You know, you wanted a relationship and you wanted a commitment. They didn't. Or, you know, you wanted serious, they wanted fun. Or vice versa. However it applies. Um, however the energies apply to you. And um, there is attraction. I feel like, you know, there's definitely attraction between the two of you. And I feel like... I feel like that's maybe the reason why you actually tolerated their behavior, this type of behavior from them, because they were just so cute, right? So attractive here. Um, but beyond that, I don't know that they want to. Um, I don't know that they want to invest emotionally. To be honest with you, look at look at them, with the two of pentacles here. You know, I feel like they come back to. They'll come back into your lives. For them to only revert and go back to their, you know, old behavioral patterns. People tend to repeat um, their actions here, especially if they don't see anything wrong with them, or especially if they don't. Um, what was I? What was I saying? I completely lost my train of thought. Like people tend to repeat their actions, especially if they don't see anything wrong with them, or especially if they don't learn the lesson here. Okay. Um. So look, yeah, a wave of nostalgia is suddenly going to awaken um, awaken their lust for you in a big way. That's what I'm seeing. And that's when they're going to reach out to you for communication here. But again, I feel like they're chasing one thing, Leo. Go figure. 
and that there is your spread so as always guys thank you for watching and listening please show your support by subscribing to the channel liking commenting or sharing um feel free to connect with me uh, for a personal reading otherwise uh, do take care keep safe and i'll catch up with you later in the week